All right, so this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well uh, Virgo Rising. Weekly general tarot reading October 12th to uh, October 18th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading or uh, into taking a tarot class, information about uh, those two things you can find into the description down below. So with that being set aside, uh, let's move to the good part of this video, and that is the reading itself. So eight card spread and the upper half of the spread is going to describe your um, romantic and love life into the upcoming week. And the bottom half is going to show or shed the light on your professional development and as well uh, your career. Right. So let's have a look how the things are looking. Uh, we do have the two of swords in terms of uh, the first card, followed by the princess of swords. Moving next is the Six of Cups, and uh, after that we do have the Princess of Cups here. Then, Five of Swords, the Devil, the Ten of Cups, and the Moon. All right. So let's, uh, let's do the Love part first then. <clears throat> And immediately what comes to attention is this individual here, Princess of Swords. And the fact that it is sitting into this particular position, it kind of shows that that's a person who will cause problems. Um, what is the criteria, or rather like, what, what are the traits of the Princess of Swords or the Page of Swords when they are acting negatively toward our uh, situation? Well... They can manifest in two ways. One of them is straight away liars, or in other words, they do like to present fictions as facts and they do it intentionally, okay? And the other, uh, I don't know the English word of that, but it's people that are making constantly scandals, that they are challenging all the time those around, and in this particular case, you, with the attempt to show how unfit you are, how stupid you are, you know, and how incompetent you are to stand the your endeavor. Uh, the Page of Swords, they are rather very fear fearsome because they don't know when to stop and they are somewhat very intellectually agile and uh, very smart in their own way. They do have an individual unique thought and it's very difficult to follow their, their logic, if I may say it that way, in order to defend yourself properly. So uh, what the reading suggests to you is not to get into a um, unnecessary confrontation, just, just ignore the taunt. For otherwise, I'm afraid looking at those cards, it is that you won't be able to win the argument. And that is not because, you know, you are lesser than that person, but because you're going to be handicapped here, at least throughout the week. However, luckily for you, Virgo, we do have the two of swords into the very prime position here. And that card generally points that um, you are going to be within peace. And... Uh, in this particular week and things are going to go exactly as they are right now unless you do not do something to disrupt your peace uh, and the fact that we do have the six of cups here in this particular position is showing that should you maintain the peace you are going to be generally generally happy throughout the week for the endeavors that are happening to you are endeavors that you are going to so much like and only if you do answer the taunt of uh, this person then the things or rather like the situations are going to become very very ugly now one way or the other by the end of the week, the peace are going to be disrupted or that equilibrium that you're going to sit on, should you not do anything to disrupt it, is going to be disrupted by itself, shown here by the Princess of Cups. But it's not going to be because you have been ta taunted or bullied straight away from somebody here in terms of your love life, but because something good is going to start happening to you, that is. What that good thing is going to be will differ depending on your personal situation. However, with the Princess of Cups, 
you are going to be emotionally connected with this enterprise that it is going to start happening you know it could be that you are falling in love or somebody else is falling in love with you it could be a very good news that comes about in terms of your love life etc etc regardless what it is is going to make you be more attentive to, to, to pretty much the overview and to the distant future rather than to being stuck with the current details like this bully here, right? And because you are going to be start attending more to the overview by the end of the week, your plans are going to start shifting how you are going to proceed forward with your love life. And as well, you are going to undertake a or position yourself in a different way in order to maximize fully from the uh, from the good thing here, good enterprise that it is happening to you. So just at the end summary here, um, this week is going to be rather a bit inactive for the most part in terms of love. But by the end of the week, the good stuff will start happening to you like once again, falling in love, uh, being presented with a gift of something, for example, someone gifting you a flower, showing, you know, their attitude and their interest towards you, etc., etc. So expect by the end of the week or at the end of the week to have something good happening to you in terms of romance and in terms of love. So let's move to the uh, career because career look a little bit more troublesome at least for throughout the week for uh, we do have another bully and that is much stronger than the first one for uh, unlike the first one here that you pretty much can decide to ignore this one with the devil you can't and i do suspect that this is coming from your boss and how i did realize that that's about bullying well with the five of swords into the first position because that's a card pointing that you are yet again handicapped into your career where you are to be placed either against the odds or straight away humiliated with the results you are uh, you are achieving not that those results are going to be bad results it's simply you know for some people, it's never enough, okay? And regardless of what you do, you have been marked to be the black sheep and no matter how much you do, it's never going to be enough. Now, there is another way to be looked at those cards and that is primarily for those that are their own bosses and with those two cards, it seems that you may kind of like get yourself into some kind of a trap in a sense of that you may undertake a project, you may undertake a, a service that will be uh, a pretty costly. Not that you will not going to be able to finish it or to accomplish it by the end, but it's just going to cost you way more than you are actually going to invest in it or, or rather like draw from it at the end of the day. So how is the best way to move with your career forward? Well, the uh, answer is within the Ten of Cups and it's much more simpler than you may think. Uh, it's pretty much the, it, the answer is that you have to count your blessings. Yeah, the situation right now in terms of career is not exactly fortunate by a large margin, but there is a, a good things that can be extracted from it, believe it or not. And if you do not put your mind into the negative side of the uh, of the situation, then you're going to start seeing the blessings that are that are actually presented to you from the situation uh, itself. The Ten of Cups also it's a peculiar card pointing that uh, this deficiency of enough also going to serve you a favor in any way. I don't, uh, the, which way, again, is going to be very unique for your unique situation. And as this is a general reading, it will be different for every single one of you. But what we do have as an expression within our country here, it is that when somebody tries to gouge your eyes out, sometimes they're actually fixing your air lashes, uh, eyelashes, I'm sorry. And that is exactly what is going to happen. Or, in other words, who laugh the la who, who who has the final laugh laughs the best. Maybe that's the uh, maybe that's the expression. And if you do let, if you do not, uh, how can I say, uh, dive yourself so personally into those attacks from those 
two cards, believe me, you're gonna have the final laugh. And that is also described here with the moon card. For at the end, it looks like that instead of your eyes being gouged, you're gonna be set on a really good way for you, actually in the right way for you how to proceed your career. Say that you have been um, laid off from your job because under a pretense that it was not enough what you did and you have found much better job after that with the moon card or you have been redirected to a new field of career that it is a far better field than you. With the moon card at the end it is just a confirmation that the circumstances happening to you are actually serving for your greater unfoldment and even though misfortunate, take it that you are uh, taking the blows at the start of your part, so you don't have to take them at the end where they are going to be much more powerful than they are right now. So those that are, are looking for a job, they may face a little bit of um, poignant experiences, you know, where once again, it's never enough, whatever they present in front of those that they are, uh, that they are uh, applying to. But ultimately, at the end, that will push them into a direction that it is the true direction for them of finding a job. That, that is going to lead them to the true company that they need to work for, that will lead them to their true career field, for example, and etc., etc. So don't uh, kind of like... Um, fall in spirit, if I may say it that way, just because things are looking grim at the start of the week with your career. So that being said, uh, Virgo, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.